to this episode of Full Day of Eating with Me. I start the day with probiotic. I take one every single morning on an empty stomach. And I take my enzymes, my evilzyme, every single meal. So I'll pair these two together with a full cup of water. And then I'll go into breakfast. That's every day. Now, breakfast stays the same pretty much year-round. Unless my coach adds food and keeps adding food. Right now, we have oatmeal on the bottom, eggs, and then strawberries. So I do my sliced strawberries here. My blueberries, I just finished these. These blueberries here. And you can do kind of any brand, which they all taste a little bit different. So kind of find which one you like. And then seasonings are going to be my pink salt, which I measure out onto my oatmeal and my eggs. My cinnamon, onion powder, and garlic. And so I measure all these things and then I pop them into the bowl, mix them all together. And this will be meal one. Once I get done with meal one, I take my multivitamin and that is how I start my day every day. So if I forget to make my ice cream at night, which it needs to freeze overnight, I make it in the morning right after my breakfast. So I do about 300 milliliters of water and then I'm going to pour this water into the shaker cup, add in one scoop of my strawberry smoothie ice object and then add in my oatmeal. Shake that up, put it in the freezer. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So once I pour everything in there, I put my oatmeal on top, it'll slowly work its way down to the bottom. And then when we do the ice cream, you'll see that the oatmeal will be like a nice little layer, but it tastes like super, super sweet at the bottom, but not like overly sweet, just a perfect amount. And it'll rest to the bottom and then you just scrape that and it gets kind of creamy, like a, like an oat milk, oat flour type of vibe. And so I'm gonna tip my top on here, swirl a little bit more and then throw this in the freezer. So usually it says 24 hours, and this will be about like 12, which is perfectly fine, it still works out. So it's already settling, as you can see. So my meal plan is pretty chill. I got ground turkey and I did stir fry. Sometimes I will change up my veggies. So I'll, I'll do broccoli or green beans or zucchini and mix all that up and drizzle my salt on top with my rice cakes that come next. My favorite is tomato basil. I'll switch back and forth if I can't find the base, but usually I order them in bulk so that way I don't run out. And this is the same meal that I do for meal two and meal four. Meal three, five, and six are different, but these two are the same, so here we go. So for meal three, we got chicken and broccoli with a little bit of mix of the stir fry in there. Got my sweet potato and my almond butter drizzle. Now, if I didn't do um, the almond butter here, I would switch it for peanut butter. And sometimes I drizzle that over my chicken and my green beans. So you got options, but this is what I tend to stick to right now. So meal five is, well, you can't really tell, but there's beef and tomatoes and English cucumbers in there with a swat of my sweet potatoes. I warm these sweet potatoes up. The ones I had early this morning with the almond butter, I do not warm those sweet potatoes up so it tastes like a pie. But I put a big old bowl, bowls like this big, fill that up, throw everything in there. The only thing I measure, I measure my um, spinach, but I eyeball like my um, cucumbers and tomatoes. And then I measure my dressing. So right now my coach tells me exactly how much dressing to use. So you can see it's a lot on there, um, which is interesting um, and delicious. Usually I wouldn't eat as much dressing, but he specified how much dressing I should be eating. So that way we know how much fat I'm taking in with this meal. Last meal coming up for the day. Okay, so it comes out like this and then you just Blend everything around the edges. I want to add my almond butter right through here. But this is kind of the texture you're getting. Then I'll mix my almond butter in and that is it. Okay, so meal six is complete. Eat this full thing of ice cream. Again, it's only your oatmeal, water, one scoop of protein powder and almond butter on top. So a lot of people mix in like your almond butters inside, which should make a different type of make on the ice cream machine. But when you're mixing in no fat, you kind of just do it the way I did it. And it seems to be the best way. I've tried all the different options. If I used almond milk or um, coconut milk, oat milk, or anything like that, that has fat in it, more than clearly water, it will be a little bit different consistency. But this is what I get with my combo. Anyway, that's the last meal of the day. Hope y'all enjoy the full day of eating.